victims of violent crimes tell Fox 8, but the signing of a new juvenile justice bill into law today, they're taking back some control. And as Ashlyn Brothers reports, the new law gives Louisiana residents easy access to some juvenile criminal records through an online database, and it could lead to criminal justice reform. Governor Landry likes to say a promise made, a promise kept, and I would say he kept his promise to victims. It's my pleasure to sign this bill as well. Elizabeth Hansard fought long and hard for Louisiana's Truth and Transparency Criminal Justice System program for her son Noah, who was shot and paralyzed during an August 2022 armed robbery in New Orleans. Someone did something bad to me and justice needs to be done and, and hopefully it's done right. And, and if it's not done right for me, hopefully it's done right for the next. Noah says the new law has Louisiana headed in the right direction. It requires all minute entries for violent crime cases involving juveniles filed on or after January 1st of this year to be sent to an online public portal. So when you become a victim, you enter the judicial process and what you rapidly discover is that it becomes a full-time job of trying to gather information. Minute entries refer to arrest, custody, and bail information and any changes to criminal charges. It also includes any hearings and proceedings, decisions handed down, dates, and the identities of the judge, prosecutor, and defendant. That information remains open to the public unless it's sealed or the suspect's record is expunged. What won't be available? any of the defendant's medical, mental health, social, and school-related records, nor any records related to crime victims. If you do the big boy crime, you gotta do the big boy time. I mean, if you shoot someone, for, in, for at least in my case, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know what, how a gun works and what it does if you pull a trigger. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not like rocket science. Noah's mom says knowledge helps with the healing process. They don't have to wait for the broken system to tell them what's going on. They will have that power at their fingertips. It's actually going to help the justice system to, I guess, do their job without having to worry about like tiptoeing around juvenile laws. The law, effective April 19th, calls on the Louisiana Clerk's Remote Access Authority to submit a written progress report to the legislature by August 1st and every 120 days after that until all clerks of court are in compliance. The Hansards hope this is just the start of tackling something much bigger at stake. Education, the truancy, the curfew bills. There's so many other topics that we could work on that would prevent kids from even entering this pipeline. And once they are in the pipeline, then making sure the judicial system gives them the parenting that they need. The new law also applies to adult offenders requiring each district clerk of court responsible for maintaining criminal records to provide electronic access to all minute entries for cases filed on or after the 1st of January 2020.